errand to do some racing, like I normally do on Saturdays. And then um, my uh, my game had crashed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, or actually, my computer had crashed. I had to log out of TeamSpeak and everything. And then I came back. I got this nice man to give me a drive back to it, and it was gone. And then the other person was saying that he saw the car drive by industrials. Can you um can you describe the car real quick? The car is it's a colored. it's a army uh, Nissan Skyline GTR. It is black mm-hmm. with half of it's black, half of it's golden. Okay, and la- where was it last seen? Um, last seen the industrials by the airport. Yeah. So do you have any property in it? Or uh, not that I know of. Okay. Alright. Um, do you have any form of identification so I can make sure who you are? Yeah, sure. Appreciate it. Alright, Mr. Brandon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you fill out a statement form, okay? So I can get all the information on what you see. Okay. Let's go ahead and put all the details as you can. It'll help us a lot more. And uh, I'll be right with you, okay? Buddy was moved out of your channel. Hi, sir. What's your name? Um, I am Sabio. Sabio is good. Nice to meet you, officer. How are we doing today? Um, I'm doing great. And you said you were involved as well. You seen what happened? Uh, yeah, I was there at the scene, but I I was in the area when the vehicle was stolen. Okay, so let me get this straight. You were on scene with him, right? Before or after the vehicle got stolen? Before the vehicle was stolen. Before the vehicle and, was stolen? Yeah, and then I was coming back to the gas station. I saw the vehicle was stolen. Okay, gotcha. So you, you don't... You weren't even there at the time that it was stolen, right? No, but I was seeing people. I knew people who were around there. Can you tell me what where describe the people? Were there they was, were there anywhere? Question was: Is there anyone that was near the vehicle at the time that yes. could help us out? Okay. What? There was a security officer nearby the Central Bridge, mm-hmm. and there was a man in a black. Dodge Challenger driving by. Okay. Can you describe the individuals or um one individual he said he was well he was wearing a security outfit, security officer uniform. Mm-hmm. And he might know more information because he was there. And another person is he was wearing a Rasta outfit. Almost like my outfit except he had a Rasta shirt on. Gotcha, okay. And was he currently looking at the vehicle or in the direction of the vehicle? Um, from what I know of is that he, when I was driving away from the vehicle, he was driving towards the vehicle. Which individual? The one with the Rasta shirt? Yeah, the, the one who was driving the Black Dodge Challenger. Gotcha, okay. <clears throat> and how long have you known this individual over here? Uh, just Just today. We were about to go meet up, have a little... You know, Sunday, Sunday joy ride. Gotcha. All right. All right. You mind uh, showing me identification so I can make sure who you are as well? Yeah, no problem. No problem. Appreciate it. All right, Mr. Nisbet, uh, do you currently have a firearm on you at this time? Uh, yes, it is going to see a firearm. Okay, you mind putting your hands up for me for my safety? No problem. Is there a reason why you did not notify me that you had a firearm? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, officer. <clears throat> Do you know if your friend has a firearm as well? I have no idea if he has a firearm, officer. Alright. Do you mind putting the firearm on the ground for me, just over here? No problem. May I also dispose of um some burglary items not towards this case but or is just, just dispose of the weapon for now sir right there
There you go. Now walk back to the car. <clears throat> Mr. Brandon, if you could move to our channel, please. Okay. Buddy joined your channel. And what's that, sir? What do you put on the ground? Oh, that was just something I was getting from my vehicle. Alright, well, don't nothing, ask for vehicle, yeah. okay? Yeah, sorry about that. Alright, just put your hands on the hood if you can. You know what it is, Lena. Oh, it, yeah, in the front end. Yeah, keep, keep your hands on the hood. Uh, Mr. Brandon, are you currently hey, sure, armed in, in, at this time? Nope. You don't have, okay. <laughs> Right. You mind coming over here? You you finished that up? Uh, no. You didn't? Okay. Alright, just sit tight. Hold on. Because mainly it was getting supper, so. Gotcha. Mr. Nisbet, do you currently have this uh, firearm registered in the system at this time? Um, officer, I I was about to get it registered, but no, it's not registered. I do have a license for it's not carrying. Registered. So. No, it's not registered. And how long have you currently been a Palm City resident? Uh, for about a month now. Gotcha. So technically you should know better from uh, registering your firearms, sir? Yeah, I should know. All right, Mr. Brando, do you mind putting your hands up as well for my safety? And do you mind if I make sure that you don't have any firearm with you at this time? Sure, pat me down. Appreciate it. <laughs> Just don't touch the special areas. All right. I'm sure I'm I won't sure touch I won't the special touch areas there, sir. They're quite fragile. Appreciate it. You can go ahead and put your hands down. <laughs> okay. All right. So, any word on my vehicle, or? No, we're currently still looking for it. Um, we, we'll have a bolo out for it, okay, and the individual the description of what you called out, and uh, we'll contact you if we have any information on it. Just sit tight real quick, dealing with this, yeah, uh, this, uh, this matter as well. So, you said you have uh, tools on you as well? Uh, what, officer? You said you have burglar tools on you as well? Um, yes, officer. They were just from way back. Way back from what? You got a history of death? Oh, no, no. I, I, I picked them up off the street. I just forgot to dispose of them. Why would you pick it up off the street, sir? Oh, they were just laying on the bridge, and I just thought that it would be safe to pick them up. Gotcha. Who's currently the owner of the vehicle here? Oh, that's my vehicle. Okay. Um, just keep your hands on the hood for me. You mind if I check and make sure there's nothing in there that I need to be aware of, such as any yeah, firearms sure. or any other tools sure, no that problem. you sure. speak of? Appreciate it. Yeah, you could, uh, yeah. Mr. Brandon, if you can go to the front of my patrol car, just stay right there so I can have both of you in sight. Stand for. Appreciate it. Oh, you got a uh, X quad car, huh? Yeah. What's the animation that he's doing? He is currently leaning over. It should say lean over somewhere on the menu. Ten four. Don't open your trunk, sir. Oh, so. Ah. Do me a favor. Go ahead and uh, put your hands up real quick, just for my safety. What does it do at this point? Is I'm just gonna handcuff you for my safety, okay? Are you, uh, are you sure about I, that? I'll officer? explain to you, sir. I'll explain to you what's going on. No problem, officer. Okay. This is my vehicle. I just, I just want to point out, that, you know. It is your vehicle, correct? It, it is my vehicle. I did, I did pay. I 
Sounds I good. Have. All right, absolutely. Go ahead and go to uh, the side of my vehicle and I'll, exp I'll explain. You're being detained, not arrested at this time, okay? Okay, sounds good. All right. I just want to figure out what's going on before I do anything further, all right? Just go ahead and have a seat. There you go. Sit tight for me. Okay, I'm <laughs> Buddy was moved channel out of your switched. channel. Mr. Brandon. Yes. Uh, um, how long have you currently uh, known this individual here? Um, I really don't know him. You don't know him? No. Okay, he's currently saying, when I asked him how long have he known you, he said he's known you for a while now, so that's why I was asking individuals here. So, so how did you guys uh, come together, pretty much? Pretty much. Well, you just... I, see I, you, I know you said about the, the the vehicle being stolen and you needed a quick lift, but you know. I had asked. I would. I had put flyers out that there was going to be a nice community race at the gas okay. station, okay. and he came. We exchanged phone numbers, and that's how we know each other pretty much. Okay. So I, 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 what I meant by when I said I don't know him, I don't know his background. I really, I know his, I barely know his name. I'm not good with names. Gotcha. Okay. No, I was just no. asking you because uh, this individual said he knows you. I just want to make sure what's going on this time. Uh, I did search the vehicle and there's currently 13 lockpicks, which is possession of burglary tools. Uh, okay. crap. So, uh, 13, you know, he's got a, enough to actually go to jail today. You're not going to send him to jail, are you? Uh... He's got an unregistered firearm, and he's got 13 lockpicks, and his story's sketchy, so you tell me. Uh, well, but I don't really want to see him go to jail because I needed some help. I mean, that's I mean, not your problem, sir, honestly. Uh, you, you just said you, you rarely even know him. Uh, he's He has possession of burglary tools, and his story's somewhat sketchy. So uh, do yeah, you have do someone you have to pick you up to... Take you wherever you gotta go, or no? I really don't want him to go to jail. Hey, I, that's his problem, though, sir. You don't know him. You're not a relative or anything. I can't do anything about it. Okay. Uh, I, I guess. Right, but uh, the situation with your vehicle being stolen that's being dealt with. We got to bowl out for it. We'll go ahead and look for it. And we'll contact, and we'll contact. You further. Uh, do you mind writing your number and your contact information down? Uh, sure. Do you yes. mind if I talk to him before you send him to jail? It, you're not a relative or a family member, so I can't have you talk to him, sir. Well, even with you beside me? Absolutely not, sir. Oh. You can only be a family or relative to talk to an individual if they're being detained or arrested. I... Uh, <laughs> Can, can I ask him if he'd at least give me the keys to his vehicle so I can drive it to a safe place? Absolutely not, sir. You don't know him. Uh, okay. You don't have anybody to come pick you up? No, I don't. Alright, um, quick question as well. When I ran your information, you're not in our NCIC, so, uh, what I'm going to do is post to you a link on the forms where you have to put your personal information. It basically says your name, your address, your age, and uh, your ethnicity. Okay. I'll give you that real quick. Okay. I mean, if, if, again, if you were a family member or a relative, I'd understand the, uh, the comfort of talking to him, but you don't know him at all from what you're saying. So well, he I might be my cousin. I, I've got lots of cousins that I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely not, sir. Sorry. No, sorry. seriously. <clears throat> I get like 20 cousins. I only know two of them. Well, you know, it's not confirmed. You can't really talk to him, sir. What, you, you want some of my blood? <laughs> uh, absolutely not, sir. I'm sure you can determine that at the hospital or or uh, 
blood test at the hospital or any organization. All right. Uh, can I can I ask one question? What's that, sir? Uh, how did you find the weapon on him? Uh, on his license, it says that he has a concealed uh, weapons permit. Okay. So, because he's got that license, that gave you a right to search him? Absolutely. He, what he did, he did not notify a law enforcement official in the state of Florida. You have to. If you don't, then that is considered a probable cause. Ex hmm. Okay. All right. So, I would, I would advise you as well, if you're driving a vehicle and you have a concealed weapon, uh, you advise us that you are armed so that we know. Okay. Okay? Yep. Did I answer all your questions today, sir? Yeah. All right, I'm Sheriff Z. Brown. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can always contact my number. Um, I'm going to um, give you my you card real quick. If you have any information or uh, questions providing any other cases or uh, the stolen vehicle. But we will but contact, we will contact you. All right. Yep. All right. That's uh, it from here. Just make sure you put that personal information on there, and we'll get you in the NCIC. Okay. Okay. All right. You have a nice day, sir. Okay. Sir, get away from the car, sir. Uh, it didn't do anything. I was right, just right. Right, I don't, I don't want you to make contact with them. All right. I just dealt with your business. You can go about your business, sir. No. Okay. All right. Buddy was moved out of your channel. If I tell you again, sir, you're being arrested, so you need to leave. Okay. Channel switched. All right, Mr. Nisbet, I'm going to read you a register real quick, and I'll explain what's going on, okay? Uh -huh. All right, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you can and say will be held against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you do not have an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand the rights as I have read them today? Yeah, I do. All right, you do understand that you have every right to file a complaint against our RP department if we did not RP this uh, scenario correctly. Yeah, no problem. All right, what's going to happen is you're going to be uh, charged with possession of burglary tools. All right. Oh, oh shit. You have huh. 13 lockpicks in, in your vehicle's inventory, okay? Uh, is, is, is that a felony or is that just a misdemeanor? Uh, 13, uh, I believe it's considered a felony to have 13 huh. lockpicks. That is considered uh, possession of burglary tools. That's how I'm getting conveyed to the that's right? Right. Um, I'm going to let you slide with the register of firearm, okay? What I'm going to do yeah. is I'm going to confiscate the weapon and we're just going to go from there. But you gotta okay. make sure you register your firearms. You can find that at the three one one channel. They'll post it. But uh, sit tight, real quick. We're still running the registration of the vehicle. You said it's yours, correct? It is. Yeah, it is uh, mine. We'll go ahead and oh, make yeah. sure that it's yours. And then, uh, if you want to give me the keys, I can park it safely around here so it doesn't get impounded. No problem. I'll do that. Appreciate it. All right, sit tight for me, okay? You have any questions or anything? Is, is there like a possible way that I could like, I can do something, like I give you some sort of information and like, look what do you past mean? this, because I- Information I, on what, sir? Like, whether it be stolen, like the stolen vehicle or something like that, because I can give you tons more information and like, you can get the guy. What information do you have that you're withholding? Well, I mean, I didn't want to say it. Because I was just like I was just trying to protect my friend, but I don't know. I don't remember his name. I'm not good with names, but I remember there was a guy who was around the gas station. He was going to come join the car meet or the, the thing, 
but I had left to go buy speed upgrades for the Crown Vic. But he went, he went a little bit quiet because we you know we're on the walkie talkies. He went a bit quiet, so I, I just want to like give you that information because he, as I said before, he might have a weapon on him. I don't know, but he might have a weapon on him, and he might have stolen the vehicle and ditched it somewhere. He he would also question about his last seen industrial area driving around there. So he might have already scrapped the vehicle or something, but I don't remember his name. But he might he might have info. All right, we'll sit tight, okay? No problem. He <clears throat> You want to give me the keys real quick? I'll park it at the rest by over there. You got it? There you, there you go. go. Alright. Sit tight. Can you bring me some lock picks? Oh, actually, no, never mind. He gave me the keys. I can easily get the lock picks out. <laughs> Disregard that last call. gonna do is I'm gonna drop the keys okay okay yeah I got no keys now twenty three Sierra to dispatch I remember, I just remember his name, one, you know, but I mean like fifty one of the station if I can share that information and just either get my time off or you know, from a felon to a misdemeanor, I would love that, if that's even possible. Unfortunately, since, you know, you didn't really give us that information, I understand the security of the individual, but as he stated, he doesn't know you. You guys just met up, so I don't see how you would be on, on a strong tent to be concerned for the individual when you well, don't even no, know him. The, guy was there, that's his so the thing was that I, I, I just met the guy. He just sent me a text message. Like, he was like, I, I'm having a car meet, you know, over at Shell Gas Station. And I was like, sure, I'll come. And same with the same guy, too, we just met. I just gave him a ride to Muscle Car, and I, I just gave him, you know, a ride down there. He said, yeah, sure, I'll come, too. And we both went down there. I, I was with, um, well, it was Brandon. And... I I remember him having his issues. I had left the scene. When I was leaving the scene, I saw Cartwright going towards the vehicle. And that that's, that's the guy I was telling you about with the rest and the, the last challenger. And he's also the same guy who, who also has a vehicle. So, I mean, I, I just wanted, I didn't want to say nothing about it because... I didn't want to, you know, be saying out false statements. Well, you know, technically you hindered my investigation when I was trying to deal with a stolen vehicle, so that's not really my problem, sir. That's actually yours for not saying the information at that time. I, like I said, I'd understand if you...
guys were related, blood related, or friends to a point where, you know, you know each other. But as the individual said, he doesn't know you, so I don't understand the concern. So, quite honestly, your chance was to tell me when I asked about the information. You bring it up yeah. now because you have possession of burglary tools is not going to fly. Sorry, bud. You got to put yourself in my shoes. When you see an individual charged with something that they didn't even let anybody know about, such as the lock picks, and then you just try to wedge yourself away from the charges by just trying to give information you should have gave out already during an investigation. Yeah. I can easily I mean, charge you for that as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost there. If you want to open up the detention facility, uh, I'll give you your funds after I get him to 15. Alright bud, step out for me. Go ahead and walk to the front door. It's not the maximum security, but the one on the left. Alright, go ahead and face the wall for me, sir. Go ahead and put your hands up for me. You don't have anything else that I need to know about? Just double check. No, just sufficient pull. Alright, come over here to the glass. Hands on top of your head for me. Alright, what you're going to be going to jail for is possession of burglary tools and hindering an investigation, okay? Okay. Buddy was moved out of your channel. Channel switched. 23 Sierra to dispatch, show me code 4. Subject is... I need funds in my goods. Oh, oh okay. 
Yeah, I'm burning him. Oh, man. Feels like whenever Nisbet's on the server, he always ends up a way to go to jail. Uh, you're gonna laugh when you see this video. What do you do? Well, I, I got a report of a stolen vehicle. Right? He's not the he's not the suspect. We're still looking for that vehicle, but uh, they're both in the vehicle. When I tell them to be on scene, so I can talk to them, mm. they're both in the vehicle. So I I talk to them. Get both of their names, run them both to make sure they don't have any warrants or wants. Both of them are not in the NCIC, so I inform them, hey, put your names in the NCIC and personal information. Have, uh, I got Brandon filling out personal info 